At a bare minimum, these are some things you might think about. Number one, a camera, obviously, but a video camera that has um, a, a microphone input. Sound quality is key. If the assessors can't hear, the video. I mean, they can hear, you have sound, but they can't hear the conversation, then you won't be able to provide the evidence you want to provide. So um, an external microphone sitting on a table around a conversation, um, when there's other conversations happening around the room that might be external kind of white noise and, and make the, the small group conversation difficult to pick up, that external microphone will be key for you. So you want to pay attention to what kind of camera you have. If it's a hard drive camera or if it has a, a little mini digital video tape, a DV tape. I think the tapes are easier to work with because say you have three people at your building doing national board, well you can share the, the camera but you can keep your own tapes. If it's a hard drive camera, you really have to pay attention to um, where the camera goes next before you get your content off the camera. Consideration is if your camera has a, has a little SD card, you know those little blue cards, you don't want to record onto the SD card um, in the SD mode. It records your 20 minute session in little pictures, in like 120 little images, and it's very difficult to work with. Have the camera person and yourself test the, the microphone and test the video. And by testing, I mean actually say, okay, it's on, everybody talk. Record, 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 turn it off, rewind, listen to it. Did you have sound? Yes. Could you hear um, the conversation where the microphone was? Yes. Great. Was there a buzzing noise? No? Great. So, you know, you want to test it because you won't, don't want the unfortunate situation where there's no sound and you taped the most perfect lesson and there was no sound. Possibly you'll have your camera on a tripod if it's just you and a small group or if it's, it's your class uh, as a whole. But if you're having to walk around from group to group, you may very well have a camera person. You need to consider what movie making program you're thinking of. Um, so for instance, if you work in a PC district and you have a, a PC world, you can use Windows Movie Maker. That's a free download. There's also programs called Pinnacle where it's not a free program, but some computers and some school districts have that program, Pinnacle Studio. If you're working in a, pa in a Mac district, um, then iMovie uh, is a great uh, movie making program. And you want to be sure that you're using a DVD burner versus a DVD reader. Just because you have a DVD reader, like you can put a DVD movie into your laptop and you can watch this DVD or any DVD, just because you have a reader doesn't mean you have a burner. But the one thing that you need to pay attention to is that you're using a DVD minus R. If the National Board receives a DVD that does not work, they'll call you and they'll have, you'll have 48 hours from the time they call you to get a new uh, video to them that works. So um, that is, uh, you know, a, certainly an excellent reason to keep a backup copy in a couple of formats so that uh, if, you, if you have to send them something that works or if it gets crushed or broken or, you know, whatever reason, doesn't work for some reason, you've got a backup plan. And so you'll always keep an extra copy and you'll be ready because you are going to be a National Board Certified Teacher and you will have thought of that and we'll help you.